I conquered my anxiety in just 365 days and I'm going to teach you how. If you're anything like me, you also grew up a ball of anxiety, whether it was nature or nurture. Either way, you were dealing with anxiety. And if you were anything like me, you were constantly searching for answers, a different breathing technique, another mantra to say, Wusa, whatever it was, and nothing seemed to work. That is until finally I had a breakthrough. So I'm gonna give you step by step why each step is important and how you can implement it in your life so that you can also overcome any challenges with anxiety that you might be facing. Step one, I cannot stress this enough, is sleep. And they don't pay me to say that. Sleep is absolutely paramount to managing your emotions. There's plenty of studies out there that analogize a lack of sleep to functioning like a drunk person. I genuinely believe sleep is the most necessary thing to include in your life if you're looking to better manage your emotions. When you're not sleeping, your emotions will get the better of you. Everybody has a different magic number of how much sleep that they require. Typically, seven and up is the sweet spot. And luckily, here at Happy Brain Fitness, we've already made a few videos that teach you different ways to optimize sleep, such as our five best supplements for better sleep and the video that teaches you that melatonin is probably the worst supplement to take if you're looking for better sleep. Number two is managing our gut biome. More research comes out to suggest that our gut is really our second brain, maybe even our first brain. The research continues to support this idea that our emotions are really driven by the activity in our gut biome. One thing I can tell you about the gut biome, when I really started to pay attention to it, I found that certain foods severely increase my anxiety, mainly grains and gluten. We're talking bread, pasta, cereal, all those things are gonna cause tremendous inflammation in the gut. And when our gut is inflamed, anxiety and other issues such as depression, even anger, can also increase. And I really can attest, when I removed grains and gluten from my diet, my anxiety dropped, my confidence skyrocketed, I was more in the moment, more present in a flow state, Less overthinking texts you send, less nervousness before an exam or public speaking. If you're looking for an immediate improvement to your overall state of being, I highly recommend considering removing grains and gluten from your diet. So number three is sugar. And not just any sugar, specifically processed sugar, typically what you see in packaged foods. This is another item that's gonna cause tremendous inflammation to your gut and is directly linked to increasing anxiety, depression, anger. Now, I'm not here to say sugar is bad. For instance, I love fruits. My favorite meal is just a grass-fed ribeye with some watermelon or pineapple. Again, I mean processed sugars, unnatural, chemically processed sugars. And believe me, I know how hard it is to give up. I remember those days waking up Saturday in the morning, mixing a big bowl of Captain Crunch with Cocoa Puffs and watching cartoons. It's undeniable at this point, those types of sugars directly increase feelings of anxiety, depression, and anger. So that's why my number three step and tip to eliminating anxiety and conquering your anxiety remove processed sugars. Number four is sunlight. Sunlight is absolutely crucial to managing our emotions. Now, I'll take you here. I was not a morning person at all. I despise waking up in the morning. And I learned that getting sunlight for five minutes within the first 30 minutes of waking up will increase cortisol production, your cortisol awakening response. And ever since I've implemented that, I'm more bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in the morning ready to go. This reduces the ramp up time that it used to take me to get into my day, to get into my groove. Getting sunlight in the morning, you just feel happier from the moment you wake up. And if you're happier from the moment you wake up, less likely the things that happen are going to cause anxiety in that day. Sunlight is pivotal to having a sunny disposition. So the trick with sunlight here is you really wanna get it five minutes of sunlight within the first 30 minutes of being awake. And before noon, try to get between 20 and 30 minutes of sunlight. Number five, step five is exercise. Whatever your favorite type of exercise is, I personally like to lift weights and play basketball. If you're a sprinter, swimmer, a jump rope, or whatever it is, getting that daily exercise really helps to reduce your stress response and increase, again, those happy chemicals that are gonna make you less prone to anxiety and more prone to happiness. For me, at least, 
that one hour mark of exercise, exercising for one hour really depletes the stress out of me. You're pretty much so tired that it's impossible to have anything stress you out after that. And now I save the best for last. Before we get into step number six, this has been Happy Brain Fitness and my name is Nick. I'm a Duke University graduate. If you've enjoyed the video thus far, really quick, hit the subscribe button. Putting out content like this weekly that's going to give you tangible skills to overcome challenges in your life. So by subscribing, you're helping the channel grow and getting this message out to the people that can really benefit from hearing it. And I'm very responsive to the comments. I encourage discussion. If you want to let me know how these steps have influenced your life, if they work, if they didn't work, if you have any questions, happy to discuss it with you. So finally, the grand finale, number six, step I use to conquer my anxiety is meditation but not any type of meditation, specifically transcendental meditation. Now, you will experience benefits from any form of meditation, and I'm referring to those typically very relaxed states, oftentimes focused on breath work, a mantra, or a visualization. Research shows that that does help. It does reduce the activity in our brain regions responsible for anxiety. But my favorite of all the meditations I've done is transcendental meditation. I'm not affiliated with the organization at all, but I highly recommend you visit them at www.tm.org. Funny enough, the way that I found out about Transcendental Meditation, I had just dropped out of law school with the plan of becoming a real estate developer. And as I'm making my plan, I started listening to the Tim Ferriss podcast for motivation and two back-to-back -back guests. I believe it was the CEO of Quest Bar and believe it or not, the actor that played Dwight Schrute in The Office. In both days, those guests told Tim Ferriss that what they attributed to their high creativity and high productivity was transcendental meditation. I took it as a sign from God, I dug into it, and it's been six, maybe seven years now doing TM daily, and I can't stress it enough what a game changer it is for reducing anxiety and just always being present in the moment, less reactive to stress, kinder to other people. It's been such a game changer and I highly recommend you guys check it out. Those are the six steps that I use to conquer my anxiety in 365 days. So I'm not a doctor and for myself, I try to leave medication as a last resort. I like to overcome issues naturally and holistically. Those six steps work for me. I'd love for you to test them out if it interests you and drop a comment and let me know how it worked for you. It's Happy Brain Fitness and I'll see you next time.